entered the desert of the real. Welcome to the desert of the real. So you are here, x86 reset vector. We're going to learn about real mode. And we've already learned about protected mode in architecture 2001. So what is a reset vector? Well, according to Wikipedia, in computing, a reset vector is the default location a central processing unit will go to to find the first instruction it will execute after a reset. So after a reset on x86 hardware, the address that it goes to is FFFFFF, so seven Fs and a zero, which is basically four gigabytes minus 16 bytes. And when it resets, it's going to default to start in real address mode. So real address mode, AKA real mode can be found. You can find more information about this in the following fun manual sections, system architecture overview, processor management initialization and 8086 emulation. So we're actually not really gonna cover some of the stuff that's in that section. So I recommend you go check that out later. Specifically, what we're not going to cover there is the thing called virtual 8086 mode that's covered in that section. And so if we look at this diagram, we can actually see that there's a whole bunch of edges labeled reset. Reset there, reset there, reset here, reset there. And so the basic point is out of all of these operating modes, if a reset occurs, all roads, all resets lead to real mode. So when the processor restarts, it's going to be in real mode. So what is real mode, real address mode, aka real mode? I'm an American, I don't like to say extra syllables if I don't have to. So real mode called real address mode in the manuals, but real mode in that diagram is the original execution mode of an 8086 or 8088 Intel processor. It was actually just the only mode of the processor until the 8286 came along and they added protected mode. Now it still exists today for backwards compatibility and it still exists because the processor upon reset starts in real mode. And now modern BIOSes, although they start in real mode, try to get out of it as soon as humanly possible. So rather than continue to talk about what real mode is and isn't, we're gonna just jump right in with your first Simix lab in order to have you poke around a little bit and then I'll come back and explain more about what you're seeing. <laughs> 